and there it is. It's burning nice and hot. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you how to make a mini Altoids alcohol stove that fits in the system that I showed you in the last couple of videos. Stay tuned. After my last couple videos, I wanted to know if I could make a mini Altoids alcohol burner to go along with the stove. I know a lot of people like to use alcohol stoves. They're very convenient, they're lightweight, they're clean burning, and also uh, they're just great to have around for multi-purpose because alcohol can be used for cleaning among other things. But one of the things that I was concerned about was finding uh, something that would uh, fit as a container because carrying the alcohol can be a problem and I wanted everything to fit inside the alcohol tin, the little Altoids tin. So I've done some research and put something together that I think is cheap and easy to do. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a mini Altoids tin. And of course you want to go ahead and rinse it out and dry it good uh, so that it doesn't have any of that peppermint dust left in it. The next item that you're going to need is a sink strainer. And you'll also want to get a Sharpie so you can draw around the little Altoids tin. Next, you're going to need some of this metal tape. And you can get this in various places. You can also get this in places where they sell muffler repair tape. It's a high temperature tape. It's actually used for duct work. It has adhesive on one side and it is an aluminized tape on the other. And this is very important. You'll also need a pair of scissors that you can use to cut the various items to length. Next, you're going to want a kit like this. Now, this is Grafo Glass. This is a name brand. You get this at Tractor Supply, but any store that sells this fire rope, and this is used for putting inside of a door for a wood stove to help seal out the air and smoke and such. And of course, this is the adhesive that it uses. There are some places that sell this by the foot, so you might only have to pay a couple of dollars for this, but I think that this uh, right here sells for about 10 or 11 dollars if you buy the whole kit. Now, I've already cut this out just to save time, but the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your Altoids tin and place it on this sink strainer and then use your Sharpie and just trace around all around the outside and I went ahead and left the curves in. Now I've already cut that out so I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what it looks like after it's cut out and I did go ahead and grind and file down the outside edges of this. I did leave the little curve on the sides. It's not going to hurt anything but what you want to do, and you want to do this kind of carefully and slowly, you want to make sure that it fits and snaps down inside of here there's a little lip that goes around the inside. But we're not quite ready for this yet. Now this next step is really important. On the back of this tin, there are two small hinges. And they're about halfway up. And that's going to make it leak alcohol. And if you have leaking alcohol, you're going to have a flare up. And it's just not going to do very well for you. So we have to seal that. Now, this is where our tape comes in. You want to measure right about a half an inch. And you want to cut off a strip straight as you can. Next you want to peel the tape off of the back that protects the adhesive. Just peel that off and then very carefully put this on the inside of the little tin right where it can cover up both of those holes. And then once it's in there just smooth it down real good and make sure that it adheres well. This is another reason why you want to make sure you clean all of that dust out of there from the Altoids. And again, just rub it real good, make sure it's covering it well, and uh, try to get it as close to the top as you can uh, so you cover those hinges, those hinge holes, very, very well. Next, you want to take your half inch fire rope and you want to cut off about 10 inches. So you can measure that with a tape measure, a ruler, whatever you wish. And it's easy enough that you can just cut it with the scissors. Once that's accomplished, we just take this fire rope and we start on the inside and you just go around and around, kind of similar to what we did with the cardboard in the last video, just around and around and it, it does compress and then kind of tuck the ends in where they don't stick out because you might have a little bit of a, of a frayed in there. But uh, go ahead and do that and then just kind of push it down and, and work it around until you get to a nice level and that's kind of what it looks like at that point. Next we take our little stainless steel mesh that came off the bottom of the sink strainer and we fit it in place and very carefully snap it in. 
So that's what it looks like when it's all together. Shuts very good. And now we're going to show you what I used to carry the alcohol in, as well as uh, show you what it looks like when we're using it in the stove. Now when you put this stuff together, it's very important that you make sure that everything is in place so it doesn't wobble around and everything is seated properly. Of course now, we open it up and we take our alcohol and we pour both bottles into it. Make sure it soaks in good. And now our other bottle. There we go. And now, put it inside the stove. And again, we can use this for a windscreen, the little lid. Put it in there like this. And then it's a simple matter to strike a match, lay it in there, and put some water on to boil. There we go. And we set our little cup on to boil, just like that. And there it is. It's burning nice and hot, and we're getting a great flame, and it's warming up that water. Now, I found that this will burn about six minutes or so with those two bottles, roughly, just a guesstimate. But that's enough to not get a full boil, but to get some good bubbles and get some good heat. So I think that works really, really well. And of course, you can always carry another bottle of alcohol with you if you really wish to. Now, a reminder about alcohol stoves. They do not burn well when it's below 32 degrees. The alcohol has a hard time turning into a vapor to light. The other thing that you want to also be aware of is that in the daytime, alcohol flames are very, very hard to see. You can just add a little bit of table salt into your alcohol and that will help it change color enough that you can actually see it and it'll be visible in the daytime. So like I said, unless you carry more alcohol, you're not going to be able to really boil water with this. It will hold enough to boil water, but you're going to need a full ounce to do that effectively. And this is more like a half an ounce with those two bottles. So it's enough for a hot drink for sure. Now ideally it takes about an ounce of alcohol to really bring a cup of water to a full boil. I had a hard time finding containers that would do that. This is just a small container that I found that we had some mouthwash in uh, from a motel we stayed at, and this is a super glue bottle. And they actually, I cleaned them out good, used some uh, acetone and then alcohol, cleaned all of this super glue out, and it fits really good. And everything goes in here just like this, like that, Put this in, stove in, and then this is the same pack of matches that I had in the last one. And you have to bend this down just a little bit where the heads are a little thicker. And it goes right in that little slot right there. And then you can close it down and it works great. So just remember, you're not going to do major cooking on this. Uh, it will do a good job for what it's made to do. And I hope you like this project. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll find our Patreon link. This is where you can donate to financially support the channel. And you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And a big thank you to everybody that's been doing so. You'll also find our spring link. This is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. You'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up for great survival and bushcraft training classes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time.